Hello, me, I'm Age of Change, and welcome to whatever this is. Yes, it is. It's, um, yeah. Right, that's, uh, that's what I can do. Fully upgraded. I'm going to leave for a moment. Oh, I could do something with this. Get a nipple of fur. A bit one more time, I think. The Duke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Yeah. So do I have Nicholas out here or do I have to swap it? What are you? Nickler here. I'd have to swap. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Uh, they all want something, don't they? Twenty-four bikes. You're gonna set twenty-four. Yeah, well, let's grab whatever you've got. Breathing pad. Okay. I don't think I've got any money anyway, but. Uh, should I talk to Nicola? Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Deke. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Uh, Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Oh, oh, 
Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Well, I suppose if looking for Tobbs also allows me to test my enchanted clothing, then I can do it. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Check out what this is. I can't release my patch here then. <coughs> Not far away. Not far away from level 20 at all. Let's do something else then. Listen. This should give me a level, I'm sure. Up in here, is it? Can I not? Oh, I can. I could teleport from here then. But I guess I don't have any, uh. Where are you? Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. There you go. 
that. Yeah, uh, I didn't record the last two days. Not a weekend off. as violent as last time. But... Well, that's a dinner hall. Not been here since the beginning. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Um... What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. That's awful. But no matter the circumstance, he should never have cast it. He should have known better. Trust me, it's not as easy as you might assume, thinking straight when you've been hit with Crucio. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Hmm. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. What's up here? Are you? What's this? Confringo! Revelio! Let's find some... more things. Alohomora! Let's see if I can find any more things I can examine for experience. Alohomora.
Mind now, demi guys. Rebellion. Could do with more distance than Rebellion, to be honest. Not that. I don't think I understand it. Right one there. Rebellion. That's awesome. The Duke of Brattleby must have nearly wet himself when you won every single crossed once battle. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Don't need tell me. Fine. Fine. Let's do a quest. Rebellion. Ooh, not a problem with a quest.
Is that my level? What the hell? <laughs> Where did that happen? Revelio. Rebellion. Oh, I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. I thought I'd have gone up a level by now. It's good, black children of two young people came to Hogwarts. I'd hate it if my father was headmaster. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... what was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that! He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. 
Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... We... So I'll take that. Glasses the buggy me. I'll take myself seriously. Sebastian, over here. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Revelio! Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads Good are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Lumos. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. Repairer. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Lumos. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Revelio. Lumos. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. 
Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Lumos. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. This journal entry, it mentions getting locked. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Couldn't drink up. Hmm. Would help if I could see what I was doing. Another gate. Seems Slytherin liked to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Oh! Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Lumos. Like a Z and something else. That sounded promising. Loom another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Not sure references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Triangle. Oh. Let's get a fish first then. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. I could find a door. That is the same one twice. Lumos. What the fuck else is laughing? Lumos. Lumos. Can't 
Good free throw. Lumos. Lumos. Couldn't bring up. Another, not the welcoming sword, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she Lumos. was my favorite person in the world for it. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio. Or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Hmm. 
Uh, I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can. Ready? I'm ready. to make it stop. <laughs> but I'll survive. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. <sighs> I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. Rebellion. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. See your way out. Best news I've heard all day. <laughs> Let me hear it. Probably a good thing. I don't find an enemy to use it on now, though. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you.
check this one out. Purge defending Hogsmeade against... how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. I like that course the curves are noise. I think it stuns, does it? Good for you. Hobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Spider. It looks as if Tops was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Stupid one. Protego. Stupid one. Stupid one.
Bombarder. wasn't something I expected to happen. Not something I expected at all. Again. Ugh. Why? Why do I keep flying up in that direction? <sighs> Straighten. I'd rather take the big hit than Paul doing that. Huh? Whoop. <sighs> Spider-Man! That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Confringo! I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. I don't know what I'm crawling. Super 
So foul. Yeah. Rebellion. Feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. That was an interesting little diversion, wasn't it? Coaching days are over. The breathing days are over, apparently. Rebellion. 
Alright, let's, let's go back here then. Go and tell Deke of his neighbours. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> It's time to move on, Deke. There's nothing to be done now. Deke understands. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Right then, if you got this part, please consider subscribing. Go on, give me a like, because I never said that, do I? Not to miss anymore, did Tasty, tasty game. Bye.